The only thing that I was missing from flying tiny whoops was the video quality. But HD Zero is here to save the day. Here I have the Mobula 7 HD Zero, an interesting drone because it's the first one that I have with HD Zero capabilities and Express LRS at the same time. We're gonna go today and review this drone and see if it's something that is worth your money. But first, let's give 30 seconds to my sponsor. Do you need a good service to print your circuit boards? I'm sure PCBWay will have the right solution for you at the best price. They don't only have different kinds of PCB like Flex PCB and Advanced PCB, but now you can get your circuit boards with higher TG at the same price. Imagine that. Remember, PCBWay can help you with many other services. Just go and visit there at their website and check all that they can do for you. And don't forget, that your first order is for free. The Mobula 7 HD Zero drone borrows a lot from the original Mobula 7 from Happy Moto. It's a tiny whoop with prop guards, an all-in-one uh, flight controller card, and the canopy is very similar to the original Mobula 7. In this case, we have Express LRS integrated and SPI receiver with what they call the ceramic antenna, this little cube here that we have on the drone. It has 1102 motors. The big difference, of course, is that the VTX and the camera, it's HD Zero technology, which means digital experience for those who's flying this drone. How does this drone perform when it comes to flying? Well, I have to say that I'm not impressed very much about it. It's nothing that different to other 2S drones or, or tiny whoop drones. In fact, I would say that it even feels a little bit heavy when you are trying to turn a curve or a, a, a corner with the drone. It might be that if you change the rates a little bit, it can get uh, some more responsive, probably. But I, this is nothing that is like a showstopper for the drone. The drone has some other capabilities are pretty good. As I've been mentioning, the number one thing that is attractive from this drone is that it's one of the first ones buying and fly drones that you can get with HD Zero. The difference between flying analog, where you can barely see or can barely distinguish something, and flying in digital, which it's a crisp, nice image, it makes a huge impact to your experience when flying. You can see here videos of this drone camera flying inside my house, and at the same time, you can see here videos of another drone analog flying inside my house. The Mobula 7 supports 2S and 3S batteries, and I flew it with 2S most of the time because I don't own a 3S battery of this size. Again, I can't say anything special about it. Um, as I said before, it felt a little bit heavy. I think, in my opinion, this is a drone to fly indoors because when I went out and I tried to fly this drone, I felt like the wind was pushing it everywhere. I didn't have a nice feeling flying it like, like I have, for example, when I'm flying one of these ones. This is the HGLC. I don't remember the name, but it's also a 2S drone and it flies fantastic outside. And you have also the, the Emax Tiny Hawk Freestyle, which also flies fantastic outside. If you compare something like this one with the way that the Mobula 7 HD Zero flies, ah, it's not the same thing. But with this one, I can fly indoors, which I cannot do with any of the other ones that I mentioned. So, in my opinion, this is a drone that you can enjoy flying inside in your house or in your backyard, very nicely protected with the prop guards for the propeller and with very, very good video quality. Express LRS is like an extra that you have there because now you don't even have to think about your radio, radio connection, which is always good, right? 
A few other things that I want to mention about this drone. The way that the canopy is made, you have three point of contacts. Two on the sides, one on the back. And the material is a hard plastic with very little contact on the place where the screws are, which makes it very easy that you, if you crash or you do a flip or something and you land incorrectly, you push on the top here on the camera side and then you put a lot of pressure on the screw on the back. If you see in my case, it's actually broken already. And it's something that I think it's going to happen to almost everyone because it's very difficult that with the size of the canopy and the shape of this drone that you don't land somehow like this and then you put a lot of pressure like using a lever and you're gonna break that one there on the back kind of directly. The other thing that I have to say is that this is the first time that I see a happy model using the newbie drone props that we have here. I'm not a very big fan of new with drone and in fact it's the first time that when I'm flying I crash and the propeller just went away running by itself. It happens to two of them so I changed them I got one that fit a little bit better that was like more solid in there and it's been working but at the same time I have to say it's the first time that I open a drone, I crash it and I immediately lose two propellers because they were too loose and I have to change them almost immediately. Would I keep flying this drone? The answer is definitely yes. Again, the video quality is making the whole difference. It's, this drone is not a bad drone to fly indoors. Outdoors, ah. Eh, but indoors, it's, for me, it's perfect. When I can't go out because of the weather, because of rain or something like that, this one is the one that I want to take and give a couple of turns in my house because of the quality and thanks to HD Zero, right? So in my opinion, this is something that I'm going to be using quite often. This is going to become my drone to go when I'm flying indoors. And if you have the chance to try it, again, it could be a good option. If you don't like to build yourself drones, this one is a nice option to have to fly indoors. If you like and if you can build your own drones, go and get one of these HD Zero VTX and camera and put it in something that you are comfortable, that you like and you are proud of building yourself. I'm sure that you're going to have a lot of fun with that. The other part that you have to think about it is that today as March 2022, the drone is almost impossible to find. It's the thing that is happening with HD Zero and the whole pandemic and all that. It's difficult to find the parts. It's difficult for them to manufacture the parts and then <clears throat> difficult for us to find the parts. So even though I could recommend this drone for many people, I'm sure that you're gonna have a difficult time finding them on stock. I'm gonna close this video saying thank you to Happy Model because they took the risk to create this drone, which might be the, probably the first tiny whoop with HD Zero. And they're opening the door for more manufacturers to start creating this kind of Binance flight. I'm very looking forward for whatever else other manufacturers are going to do with these VTXs and cameras and I'm looking forward to keep flying indoors with this kind of nice video quality. This is all that I have for you today. Thank you for watching and see you soon.